Yo, what's up guys, it's Killer Mods. welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys an even easier way to solo duplicate your cards. If you guys haven't seen the previous two videos I posted on this glitch, uh, it is basically the same thing, except this one is a solo and way more easier uh, way to hit the glitch. Uh, super easy, works on Xbox and PlayStation 4. Um, so, basically all the requirements are the exact same as the other uh, glitches that were in this uh, kind of sequel kind of like I don't know what you'd call it but basically these glitches are all the same requirements you will need an arena workshop which is what I'm in right now uh, you will also need the workshop part so you would also need like where you can edit your cars you guys are also gonna need the Benny's mechanic uh, you guys are also gonna have to have the vent the Benny's uh, the uh, not the be the the, the, the Benny's non-customized van, so the stock van from the Benny's website is thirty thousand uh, dollars. Go ahead, put that in your arena garage. You also want to put the car you want to duplicate in your arena garage. I'm going to be using the uh, Future Shock uh, Issy, uh, which is the highest selling car in the game for right now. That you can duplicate. I recommend duplicating that one. Uh, put that also in your arena garage and then fill the rest of the slots up with free car like the free elegies uh, and then if you have B1 and B2 you will also want to put those in full of elegy RHH2 if you want to expand as much as you can duplicate to make your money worthwhile because you will be needing to spend 330,000 at the beginning of the glitch to glitch out but after that all the cars are going to be uh, free to duplicate and then once you stop duplicating them and save them and when you're going to repeat the glitch again you're going to have to pay the $330,000 so keep in mind that every time you want to glitch out you will have to pay $330,000 um, for this glitch now the reason behind the I believe it was the multiplayer way to do this uh, Rockstar actually patched this by if you went into your PlayStation dashboard or Xbox dashboard where your friends are like your actual PSN friends uh, it would actually kick you from the workshop so there is a workaround to this which is going into the pause menu which we're going to be doing today uh, but we're not using anybody on our friends list like I said it's completely solo to do uh, so once you guys have all the requirements I'll meet you guys in my garage Alright guys, so once you guys are in your arena, you're going to want to make your way over to the van that's right over here. And you want to press right on D-pad to modify it. And then after you did that, you're going to go ahead and go into the workshop. And then once we are in the workshop, we are going to go ahead and select the first one. We're not going to press X, we're just going to highlight it. And you're going to press your pause menu, go to online, and go to cruise. And then after you went to cruise, you want to go down to leaderboard. This is where we're going to get glitched out. So now, if you're on PlayStation, you want to go ahead and look for the one that I'm searching for right now. On Xbox, it is called Red Hot Chili Beans. But for PlayStation, it is called El Osito like PS4, I think. It's some Spanish name. You want to go ahead and click on that. Make sure Xbox, you're looking for Red Hot Chili Beans. And then you want to click on View Members. And then once you're there on PlayStation, you're looking for the guy that's at the bottom with the two lines and then the underscore. On Xbox, you're looking for a guy that's named Lincoln Sin. He is wearing a white suit. These guys are going to be online all the time, and they're also going to be in a private game. So don't worry about that. Once you guys found them, you want to click on their name and then click on Join Game. And this is where the alert will pop up. But when you do click on this, you will get either one or two alerts. You're going to get this alert first right here. Now, if you're not in their same targeting mode, you're going to get a second alert, which I'm going to get briefly. If you guys do that, it's okay. You guys going to be a trial and error, uh, but you're going to get this alert right here. And then you're going to go ahead and spam X on PlayStation A on Xbox four to five times. So just like that, you're going to get the fade out, and then you're going to get this alert right here. You're going to sit on this alert for about 5 to 10 seconds, and then after that time, you're going to go ahead and press X, and it's going to bring you back down in, and we've glitched out, just like what we did in the previous video. So you're going to get out, and then if you guys want to check to make sure you guys are glitched out, you're going to press right on D-pad on the blue circle, and just go ahead and swap one of your issues. well, one of your issues. I have two for some odd reason, but I only have, you should only have one. You're going to put, and you're going to swap it, and if you guys swap it, you won't see it swap in the garage, but it will swap on the list. If you did that, you're glitched. Then you're going to go over to your mini, 
uh, and you're gonna go press right on D-pad. Make sure it's only one of them, not you don't have two of them. I have two in there for some reason, but make sure it's the one that you actually can physically see. And then you're gonna go ahead and swap the plate color and the custom plates. You also need to have custom plates like all the other glitches. If you guys don't have custom plates, I'm sorry, but you cannot do this glitch. You do need custom plates. Once you guys change those two requirements, you can go ahead and exit the workshop and you're free to rinse and repeat what we just did. Not the van part, just the allergies. If we're gonna do it again right here, you're gonna go to the blue circle, press right D-pad, and you're gonna go ahead and swap the ECUC with the LG RH8. Now, if you did notice, I have three ICs on my list now. That means because we duplicated one of them. Visually, we cannot see the ICI, but in the list, it does say that there's another ICI there. So it's perfect. We're duplicating them, and we're just going to keep on doing this until we run out of LG spots. Now, you guys can do this on the second garages too, um, which I'm going to show you briefly. I'm just going to speed up the process of where I'm going to be doing this part, and I'll show you guys how to do it on the other garages. Alright guys, so I'm just leaving the shop on my last ICI that I've customized or changed all this stuff on. And then when you want to edit the two other garages, you can go to blue circle. And you're just going to go ahead and select the ICI that you see. You're going to press square at the bottom right of your screen where it says select level. And you're going to select B1 or B2. And then this should say elegies, but I already did mine and I swapped them all out and did the same thing. But after you swap them out, just go ahead, go back into your ICI and rinse and repeat the same thing to just keep on swapping back and forth until you finish them all and then after you're finished and you want to save you want to go into your interaction menu click on last location or your arena and then after that go over into creator by going on to the pause menu going to online and then selecting creator this meaning you're just going to find a new session uh, this is just the fastest way to find a new invite only session uh, as invite only sessions do load faster and creative our creator does also load faster as well So once you're in creator just go ahead and press the pause button go to online and then go to play GT online and then go to invite only session and We're going to go back into an invite only session and that is basically it you successfully duplicated all of the cars you had there uh, and you switched all the issues from or not you switch all the elegies to issues or whatever car you're duplicating but i do highly recommend uh duplicating any benny's vehicle uh it's just the issy futuristic one uh does sell for the most which i believe at max uh at max upgrades it sells for around 1.6 million so you're earning a lot of money so i do recommend taking your time doing this glitch it is worth it in the end trust me this is the easiest one by far um but once you guys want to check them you just go into the workshop or whatever level you want to check and as you can see when i did do this before my garage was full of elegies and now they're full of issues except for the van if you don't you don't want to you don't want to overwrite the van because that's where you can go ahead and glitch out and do the same stuff all over again but basically that is it now if you guys want to go ahead and do this glitch again just go and call LG RH8s from a different garage and then just transfer them into this garage by calling them through your mechanic driving them in here accepting the full alert and swapping them out and doing that for all three levels and then you can just go ahead and rinse and repeat this glitch as many times as you want uh, do keep in mind about the daily sell limit though uh, i do recommend selling about eight cars every day not gta days real life days eight cars don't be greedy because you don't want your dupe detection because that is going to suck and you'll only be able to sell like one car a day and it's going to take you forever if you have like over a hundred and like 20 cars i believe i have around like 100 cars already duplicated so it's gonna take me a long time 100 days is not uh, a lot of uh, that is a lot of time so you don't want to do that but hopefully if you guys did enjoy the video make sure you drop a like also subscribe if you guys are new turn on post notifications if you don't want to miss out any more glitches like this one but with that being said i did hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one